Hello friends, good afternoon. Welcome to Engineering Basic. Today we will study in this video about flowchart. Where and how LCP is used. I mean how this, this decision box is used. I have made again two videos on flowchart. If you haven't watched then please first watch that. Then you can understand easily this video. If you haven't subscribed this channel, and please go and subscribe to see my further video. Now we'll start the program related to if statement. These are the program which we'll do today. First, we should know what is if statement, right? If a statement is nothing, but it makes decision to guide a program. Means it shows true or false, right? Now we'll do this three program today. First program is write a program to check inter number is positive or negative. Means we should know which, which number which number is positive or negative. We should take one number. First, I'll keep this this question in flowchart. Write a program to check inter number is positive or neg negative. We should know this first. Which number, how we'll do that number will be positive and num the number will negative. Means if number will be greater than zero, then what it will be? It will go on positive side. Means it is positive side. If number will be greater than zero, it will be positive side. If, if number will be less than zero, then it will be negative side. Right, it will be positive side. Positive. If number will be less than zero, then it will be negative. This thing only today will represent on flowchart. Okay. First, what we have to do? We have to go on declare the declare box. What should we have to keep? Norm. Norm means norm means number. Right. We have to ask with output with computer to give number. Enter the number. Enter the number. Right. Then what we have to give? Input value to computer. Means we will take num. We'll give num. Right. Now everything gave. Now we have to go on if statement to give no, if norm is greater than zero, it will be positive. If norm is greater than zero, then what it will be positive. True side it will be positive. Means we'll write here the number. The number is positive. P O S I T I V positive. Number is positive, right? False side, what it will be? The number, number should be negative. False side, it will be the, the number is negative, right? Our program is completed. Now we'll check here. I'll give seven plus seven. The number is positive. I'll check by giving minus nine or anything. By minus nine, I'll give the number is negative, right? Any number you will give minus hundred, then it will check the number is negative. If you will give eighty nine, the number is positive, right? We have completed with this problem. It is so easy and simple. It, it is interesting or not? Yeah, it is interesting. Now we'll solve number two. Okay. Number two. Okay, use mind, use mind. What will be for number two? Write a program to check whether candidate is eligibility for vote or not. 
means to give a note also here. If the candidate is above 18, then the candidate is eligible for vote. Else, not eligible. Same as one. You have to do it to same as one. I'll again copy this and paste here. And paste here. Okay. Don't worry. It will be all. Now, what the total write up program to check whether candidate is eligible for vote or not? First, we should understand algorithm. Means, note is given if the candidate is above 18. Means, what about age? If the candidate age is above 18, then the candidate is eligible for vote. Right? Means, if the candidate age is above or equal to 18, then the candidate is or the, the candidate C A N D I D A T. The candidate is eligible. E L I G I D L eligible. Right. This thing will keep on follow with thumb. Same. What will go on? Declare. What we should keep? Age. Here is age. So we'll keep age. Right. We'll keep is now we'll ask to computer to give the people is or candidate is what will write enter the candidate is c a n d i a t e candidate is enter the candidate is right now we should give input value what should give input value is okay now we'll go on what decision box if if age will be greater or equal to 18 if age will be greater equal to greater equal to 18 and true side what it will be the candidate true side what it will be in double quote the C A N D I A T the candidate is eligible is eligible G I V L eligible for what for what for for vote right and close the double dot now same thing copy this and paste here the candidate is not eligible, not eligible for vote, right? Now we'll this. If the candidate is more than 18 or equal to 18, then the candidate candidate will give vote. Otherwise, it will not give vote. If I'll give 78, means the what will be the what will be the answer? The candidate is eligible for vote. If I'll give only five or six. Then what it will be? The candidate is not eligible for vote. Right? Simple. Now I'll check again. If if 18, I'll give. Now what it will be? Equal to 18, there is a, then the candidate is eligible for vote. The candidate is eligible for vote. I'll give 17, then the candidate will be not eligible for vote. Right? Understood this program? Understood. If not, then please, please comment me. I'll clear every doubt. Okay. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, then please go and subscribe. Again, now, again, coming video will be so interesting and very important for in examination view. And a coming video, I will make a simple calculator in programming it will be so interesting don't miss this type of videos okay now we'll solve number three problem we'll solve number three programming okay 
In number three, what is it? Write a program to check inter number is greater or smallest number. Smallest between two number. Greatest or smallest between two number. Greatest or smallest between two number. Now we'll keep this program here. Write a program. First, we should know what there is question telling. Then we should write here. Write a program to check number is greater or smallest between two number. Between two number means we have to take num one and num two and num two. In this way, we should know which one is greater. Num one is greater or num two is greater. Num two is greater or num one is greater means I'll keep num one. Is greater than zero, greater than num two, num two. Means what should be in true side? Num one is greater than num two. Num one is greater, greater than num two. Num two. This thing will only keep here. Okay. Go on deeply or. What what we have to keep num one and num two, num one, num one and num two, okay. Num one and num two. Now go on input box. Same in each and every step. Enter the num one value. Num one. We use values. Enter the num one values. Now go on. What in input? What we should write? Num one. Then again, keep copy this for consuming time and paste here. And write just simple write num two here. Okay. Now again, go on input and write here num two. Num two. Everything done. Now what we'll do? We'll go on decision box means if statement. In if what we'll write if num one is greater than g num two, then proof side what it will be. Num one is greater than num two. Num one is greater. Then num two, then num two, right? In false side, what it will be? Num one will be a smaller in false side. Means we should write num one is a smaller. S e m a l e l e r a smaller. Then what? Then num two. Double quote closes. Now we'll run this program. I'll give sixty-seven for num one. Again, asking enter the value, enter the num two values. Means I'll give forty-five. What will be the answer? Num one is greater. Means num one is greater than num two. Now I'll check for num two. False statement. I'll give twenty for num one and eighty-nine for. Num two. Then the number one is smaller than num two, right? Again, if you want to check, then check. I'll give sixty one for num one and thirty four to num two. Num one is greater than num two. In this way only you can do every programs. In coming video, we'll make a simple calculator. Don't miss, please. It will be so interesting and very important for examination view. We'll do many problems related to if statement, which will be most important in examination view. Okay, thank you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, then go and subscribe to watch my further video. Thank you.